me talk to you about Carol Off, a prolific author and award-winning journalist. I had the pleasure of meeting Carol many, many years ago in Montreal. I was a neophyte television reporter, and Carol was the national radio reporter for CBC. And I remember always enjoying her perspective on things. It was a good balance of curiosity, skepticism, looking beyond the obvious, and her sense of humor. Um, she's one of those multi-platform journalists. She was an art reporter, an Ottawa correspondent in the 80s, an international CBC correspondent in the 90s and later. And since 2006, she is the host of As It Happens, a radio show I used to hear on NPR when I was in Washington, D.C. for many years. She has covered conflicts in the Middle East, Haiti, the Balkans, as well as the former Soviet Union, Europe, Asia, in US and of course in Canada. She's covered Canadian military missions around the world, including obviously Afghanistan. Her fourth book, All We Leave Behind, A Reporter's Journey into the Lives of Others, won the British Columbia National Award for Canadian Nonfiction. And she made, wrote three other books before that, The Lion, the Fox, and the Eagle, a story of generals and justice in Rwanda and Yugoslavia. The Ghosts of Medic Pocket, The Story of Canada's Secret War. My personal favorite, Bitter Chocolate, Investigating the Dark Side of the World's Most Seductive Sweet. Um, today, she's here to talk to us not only about her latest book, All We Leave Behind, but about an issue that some journalists around the world tackle at one point or another. When should you get involved with the people you interview or whose lives you feature in your stories? When is it right or acceptable to get involved? When does humanity supersede journalism? How far do you go to protect a source? When Carol went to Afghanistan in 2002, I believe, Assad Aryubal, a father of five, spoke to her about his country's warlords. He was a source. He spoke candidly on camera, putting his life on the line. Warlords are powerful people in Afghanistan and indeed across the world. The most powerful one sent death squads to kill him. So the question is, here today, does your duty as a journalist go beyond just telling the story, or in Carol's case, when confronted with a family um, fleeing certain death or death threats, she took the step, a huge step, and helped a homeless refugee family come to Canada. This is the story of a seasoned reporter who got a fabulous interview for her piece and whose source risked his life to tell her the truth, and she protected her source. So, Carol Off, 